Welcome back ladies and gents, and today I'll bring you another redstone tutorial. Today I'll be covering the sugarcane farm. On your top left corner there will be two buttons you can click. First one will be just to skip straight to the tutorial, and the second will be to go to the bigger version that I've created, that I will show you later on in this video. So let's get cracking to the what is a sugarcane farm. We'll do that first. A sugarcane farm is something you use to grow more sugarcane. Now there are automated ones, such as this one in front of you. This one will automatically harvest the sugarcane without you needing to replant it. It will harvest it every 2 to 5 minutes depending on how long you set the timer. It can bring in anywhere between 100 or thousands of sugarcane per hour or per minute. Not thousands a minute, that would be actually ridiculously crazy. But it can bring you a lot and meet your sugarcane demands even exceed your sugarcane needs and demands. Now onto the tutorial. You're going to need to clear out a 15 by 15 space, or it can be larger depending on the size as to which, sugar, uh, as to which you want to build the sugarcane farm. This farm is expandable, left and right, up and down, skyline to bedrock, and however far you need. So you'll have your area cleared out. I'm gonna build a wall here, and on the other side, just for the video purposes, show you your space okay there you go okay you're going to need to place a jump block on the bottom just so you can lift up your grass blocks off the surface you're going to need to place blocks behind those and another row behind that now On the very front one, you're going to place your grass or your dirt. One of the two, I don't recommend using sand since sand falls. And then you're going to place another block, be another block behind it, such as this quartz. Skip this middle one. All right, next you're gonna fill in your water. And after that, you're going to, going to place your back block. I use purple wool just so I can di dictate the different circuits in my redstone. You can either place glass or glowstone on, above the water. Glowstone will give lighting if you're building underground. I like to use glass just because I like to see the water. I think it looks kind of cool. Now you're going to place the blocks as to which you're going to place your redstone on behind this row and do another row once more. On top of the glass you're going to place your pistons facing outward just like so. And then behind it we're going to go back and do use repeaters. You're going to place a repeater behind each of the pistons and then you're going to place your redstone connecting it all. Just like that. Okay. So that is how you set up the first part. Next we're going to get started with the circuit lift. So you're going to place a block there, block there, block there, and block there. And you're going to do one more on top for your next layer up. You're going to grab some redstone torches, which I did not grab by a chance. You're going to place one here, one here, and you're going to alternate all the way up. Next, you're going to place your block, your blocks for your timer. I like to use hopper timers for this just because they are efficient and very easy to use. I'm going to do it. So, ah, there we go. I messed up on this part here. I need to pull this out one more. There we go. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do the pistons. You need sticky pistons for this one. You need two sticky pistons. So you do facing in, facing in. You're going to do a dust there, a dust here. You're going to need a comparator. Compare it to that way, a 
prepare facing that way. You're going to need a redstone block on that side. And you're going to take two hoppers. You're going to do a hopper to there. Hopper facing into this one. You're going to break that one. Do hopper facing into that one. And then you're going to drop three stacks of items or longer, depending on how long you want the circuit to take. Yeah, I didn't go in. There we go. Two and then three. You're going to take a repeater, face it into that one, and a torch, and plop it on the back of that. Now we give a one tick signal, sending out all the pistons. All your redstone is now set up and it is now complete to use. I recommend putting hoppers around along the front to collect your cane. All you gotta do is now is place in your water. Oops, I did that wrong. My bad, guys. Sorry for the mishap. Okay, you need to place your water in next. So you're gonna do the middle one, second, fourth, wait, no, first, third, fifth, and seventh. And you're gonna follow it on the other side as well. And there you go. Your water's set up. You put in your cane. And you're good to go. The auto farm is now complete. To add another layer, you're going to follow the same setup, except for the bottom water part. So what you're gonna do is place a junk block on top of these. Then you're going to place your grass on top in front of these. You take your grass, you're gonna go like this with it. So you go behind these, you're going to break these in the middle so you can place your water. And there you gotta go. You're gonna take your water. Do not spill water on your redstone. I highly recommend not doing that because it is a mess, it becomes a pain, and it's just annoying overall. Take your blocks, oops. Run them along the back. Take your glass, I'll grab it from there. Run it along in front of these. You're going to take your pistons, da 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 da, place it on top. And pretty much copy the pattern you did underneath. I'm just replacing these for my own sake. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Comparators, or not comparators, repeaters and redstone. Peter, 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 Peter. Uh, 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 my father's name is Peter. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Da, 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 Take this. Continue it up. Alternate. And there you go. You added a second layer. Like I mentioned earlier, this can go from bedrock to sky limit, and it can be as wide as you want it to be. You just need to expand the circuit so that it can reach the end pistons. Now onto this behemoth that I built. It's pretty big, uh, definitely more than you need. It makes about 1700 an hour, I believe it says that I put it, but my sign broke. Aw. Yeah. I was playing this in the new snapshot. I guess it breaks signs and chests. Yeah, signs and chests. Hold on. Note to self, don't load snapshots on old worlds and use old, old ones again? I don't know how to say that. Anyways, yeah. So this is a 20 layer, um, 20 layer cane farm. It's 
seven wide, I actually had to carry the signal out this way in order to reach the ends. Uh, you could go even further just by doing it very similarly, except you would run your gears that way, and then run it this way. So you would take repeaters like this, block in the corner, and run it that way. So you could expand this infinitely left and right, and it would just get ridiculously huge. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys next time. Do what you guys do best. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see y'all later. Later.